Are you ready for existential dread? Researchers are just flat out copying the storyline from the island. Yes, we can grow organs in isolation, but they don't work very well. Why don't we just grow the entire body? Minus the brain. If you're familiar with work around growing organoids, it doesn't work all that well. You can grow many kidneys, many livers, even many brains that can operate a computer. But it doesn't quite work unless it's grown in an actual body. There's a lot of stuff that has to happen as organs develop. There has been a reasonable amount of success with things like mini kidneys and mini livers. You could even have mini livers growing in your lymph nodes if, you know, your main one isn't working. This could be life-saving, especially for organs that are not easily transplanted. And if you didn't know it, there is a shortage for transplants. There are the options of using animals, or you could even grow human organs in an animal. That has been done. But the immune system tends to struggle with it. Do know that organoids have a lot more utility than just transplants or running a computer. They also allow us to run experiments on people like things without using actual people. You could have your own organoids developed to try medication before you actually use it. Now, the idea of growing bodyoids, so the entire body rather than just organs in piecemeal, has shown proof of principle. This involves using mechanical womb technology, so baby in a bag. So far, it's worked in mice models and taken them farther than we've been able to go before, though the general goal of a baby in a bag has not been to grow from the embryonic stage. No, it's to keep very, very young babies alive. There's a lot of hormonal stuff that needs to happen that can't only happen on the side of the embryo. Yes, you kinda need the whole thing, but that may eventually be a thing of the past as we understand these systems better. We may only ever really understand women because of this technology, which bothers me. For the initial tests, the embryos came from the researchers themselves, not embryonic tissue, and we can have induced pluripotent stem cells without the issue of a clone being the same age as the donor. That is no longer a problem. Ultimately, it could lead to a wombless birth, so people who aren't able to have their own children can't carry them may end up being able to carry them in a bag. I mean, honestly, this is a test tube baby, a real one. This also happens to be the theme of not one, but several sci-fi stories and movies. Never Let Me Go, The Island, there's, there's probably more. I'm not entirely sure that this will ever grow organs, because we're talking about something that does require a brain to develop entirely. You kind of need that, or there's other issues. I'm also skeptical of the idea that we could overcome the hormones that are necessary to happen in both a mother and a child, but this could end up taking us somewhere great. And everything we thought was impossible is still happening now.